Uh, my kind of overall recovery would be like, first of all, just eating. Like, mm-hmm. make sure you eat enough, plenty of sleep, water. Do a bit of mobility at night. Supplementation wise, I take creatine. Just there's too much kind of science behind it, not to. I don't really use protein as a supplement to kind of to eat enough food. Yeah. Uh, I use uh, caffeine and electrolyte salts just before rain. From just kind of an off base, is that like caffeine sports explosive kind of performance and electrolytes just because I find if I train like some of my longer sessions up to three hours, I can just get like crampy and stuff, and I just hate leukoside. Yeah. And uh, do you like, like, yeah, go on. I was going to say, it's like, it's all the stuff that like, it's minor differences, but like, I suppose, when you're on top of the other bits, I feel like you should do what you can. Mm, yeah. Do you feel like you should, like, I presume you're very knowledgeable of what kind of dosages you should be taking and whatnot. Do you feel like that is quite, you know, easy to find out there for people who are starting to take those supplements? It's easy to find if you're like nowhere to look kind of thing. Yeah. But like, there's plenty of people online that would be like, you know, just take these things and you're going to get strong. And it's like, some people, have, like, there'd be some people kind of describe it all as like a pyramid. You're like, you know, you have your training, your food and nutrition, your sleep and recovery, your water, your stress, you know, your own stuff. and then it's like the peak is like, you know, you just like, you know, round it off with supplements if that's what, you know, if you have all your other bases covered. Mm. And like, if you're looking at kind of like places that are like, you know, supplements are very much just a small part of a whole thing and then like generally all of those people are evidence-based so they're telling you you know you do not need to take four scoops of creatine a day and have it in your mix in the morning to get strong mm. like there's plenty of youtube's on like instagram that are going to be up that's like nonsense as well yeah really. yeah like, the, like there's plenty of information out there if you're willing to look and look for evidence-based but i'd say if you're getting into sport and aren't really aware, like, they've seen, like, fitness culture and, like, evidence-based fitness culture is probably. Mm-hmm. And then what would the, how would you find the whole testing system to be on the powerlifting scene? As in testing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with powerlifting, it's, like, it's grand, it's there. If it was a bigger sport, there'd be more money to test more. Mm. Like, as in, everyone would agree, if they could test more, they would, but the money's just not there. And I, like, I don't know about British powerlifting, but Irish powerlifting, like, you know, the national team, a section of that gets tested every year. Otherwise, yeah. no one really gets tested. But it's very fair enough to test the best lifters because they're the ones that are probably, you know, if they're on something, it's going to have the greatest impact on someone, whereas someone that's coming forth at a local meet and is on gear, who really gives a fuck? Yeah, they do. Like, it's there. I think it's good that it's there. It's very openly there. If you're on the national team, you have to comply with, like, water, water stuff. Like, I always have to give them my, like, whereabouts and stuff like that, that you can get, they can just drop in on you on, like, a day's notice. Mm. So I think the infrastructure for testing is decent. I think if they could scale testing up further, it'd be great. But... What do you think needs to be done for, like, say, people to understand the use of supplements for, like you're saying, the general public? Do you think there, you know, just needs to be more general knowledge? People need to look into it more, or is there anything? I was going to say, yeah, I think if I suppose part of it would be just a paradigm shift away from people trying to sell supplements. Saying the more people are like, you know, oh, I work with this supplement company, you should buy this. It's great. I think that's what kills the younger people. Mm. Because they look at their favorite powerlifter, bodybuilder, rugby player. I don't know if it's in jiu-jitsu, but like, you know, they look at their favorite like sports person. They're like, oh, I'm sponsored by my protein. Yeah, they're gonna go off and buy a load of stuff on my protein. Where like they'd be better off just you know eating an extra chicken fillet and some spinach. Yeah. So, uh... so yeah, I think like a more of a push towards like informing people like as a whole on nutrition over just selling people stuff. Hmm. Like the information is there, and like certain like different people in every sport are good for putting out information on like proper nutrition protocols. But there's a lot of people just trying to sell stuff. It'd be great if that died down a bit. Yeah, 